Hi, so this is my day three look. And I literally did this in about six minutes because this girl knows it's time to go to the park. So she is kind of whining and wanting to go. So I quickly did this one. Let me just show you what I used. So I got Walmart a second one of this eyes blush edition because I was so happy with the other one in Spice. So this one is Blush by Remo London. Found this one too there, which I thought was really cool. So using two pinks on this one, I used the pink in the middle, because like I said, time was of the essence. So I just grabbed the pink one here. And then I did on the outside of the eyes with this darker one on the end. And then just with my finger, I went in and I used this kind of like, looks like snow just on the eyelids, just in the middle of the eyelids, not too much. Something that I ran into also today was that, um, I guess because I have oily skin, so I use a waterproof eyeliner. That's the only eyeliner that's ever worked for me. And anyways, even with my oil-free makeup remover, again, I try to avoid additional oil because my skin is already oily and I'll make makeup totally run. But it was hard to get some of the makeup off from under my eyes. I don't know if that was the mascara from yesterday or probably the waterproof eyeliner because I put more than I normally put on the bottom. So I actually had to put some of my concealer uh, under my eyes. So I don't know, I think I'm gonna have to find a better makeup remover or maybe sometimes use oil makeup removers. Okay, so again, I'm liking this eyeshadow. What's neat is that the little sparkles that I added, they have like a greenish look to them, which I think is really cool. So over the pink shadows that I used, I like that it has a touch of this like powder from hard candy. So it's still day three, but I took a little bit more time and had more fun with this palette, adding some more touches to the look. And I also found that in that kit of 12 brushes, I have even another flat brush like this, a smaller one. So this is perfect also to go and add a little bit of detail here under my eyes and to the corner of my eyes. So what I did here, um, just, I added a little bit more blue, just a little bit here next to what I thought was looking sort of like the green, because this color has like green shimmers. Um, I'll show you in a second. And then this is a very pretty color too. So this is like a little bit more glamorous if you go out to a party. Uh, it really pops, I think, the whole eye look. A lot more glitter going on. This one here, I love this one because you'll see when I put it on my hand and on my eyes, it brings out some of these like greenish, glowing greenish. Not glowing, but it just looks beautiful. I think this kit was only like five or six dollars. Very inexpensive, and I found it on Walmart. So see? How you get that greenish shine here. That was pretty. And next, this one, that would be great for like New Year. Show you what that looks like. It almost has like reds and yellows and blues in it. It's just gorgeous. That's this one right here. So I highlighted around my eyes this evening with first some of that darker one right here. And then I went with some of the whiter, lighter one. And you'll see, and a little bit around here as well. So it just adds that little extra pop of color. Ooh, I can see how you can have a lot of fun playing with these palettes and these colors. And what I learned from this evening is that you don't have to pick just one shimmery glittery color. This is the Hard Candy Glitterazzi Space Candy palette with five really pretty colors. And here I am putting all but the green and pink one on my eyes. I'll save that for another day. But yeah, it's just neat that why just use one? You can use multiple ones for like a really cool effect. I love the blue and the green kind of next to each other. Oh, see, you can see in light here. Oh, so pretty. Why don't I just show you in case you're interested the other three colors since I already have these on my hand. I'm so excited about these beautiful colors. 
who knew? Who knew what I was missing out on all these years? Okay, so next I'll put the green. Don't put too much, don't be too crazy. And for me, you know, it looks better if I just keep on my lid. When I started going up higher in this area, it just looked messy and it didn't draw attention to where I wanted to draw attention to my eyes. So here's the green. Then we'll go to the blue. Oh, I'm putting a lot of pigment to the blue. They, they have a lot of pigment, these shadows. It's really impressive. Look at the blue. Oh, but what blue? Go with my blue eyes. I mean, usually they say with like a color wheel, your colors that will make your eye color pop is like opposite in the color wheel. So for me, it'll be like, like the reddishes and the browns and the warmer tones. And I learned too that if you want to have some bright colors, don't go from complementary colors because then they'll like muddy each other and kind of go to like a brownish color. So you want to gradually go in the color wheel a few steps or at least one step in between before you go from a colors that are opposite each other. Okay, now I'm going to show you the last one is the pink. Basically, they look like in the palette, like it seems like it's true when you even put it on your on your skin. Here's the, the nice pink. I wonder what would happen if I blended these all together. Do you want to see? Let me get one of my new brushes and we'll blend, blend, blend. Oh, here you see the color really well. Oh, so pretty. My favorite would be this one because I think you can add it on any color um, shadow and it just has that nice green shimmer. I think second would be this one, the silver, but it's got some rainbow color stuff going on. Then the green. Um, I think then the blue and then the pink. I, I think it's hard for me to pull off this pink color. Anyways, let's mix them and see what it looks like when we mix it. First, my cat, Amos, wants to say hi. Say hi to YouTube, Amos. I love you. I love you. You know, even the, um, what I'm propping my mirror on is like a little jewelry box from Italy. It's got a cat. <laughs> okay. Let us blend these together. With a new brush. Any guesses what's gonna happen? Glitter jacket. Okay, let's do a few at a time. What happens if we go in the blue and the pink? How do we mix these together? How easy are they? Kind of getting like a purple color. It's pretty cool. Some pink went over, some blue went over. Getting a nice purplish. Okay. See if I mix the green with the silver. Mixing the green with the silver didn't change up this too much. Yeah, it's just getting kind of messy. Okay, all around, all around. Also, I use it as blush. Be creative. 